Ollivander's wand shop, Hogwarts Legacy, every explorable location, confirmed so far. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on the PS2 allowed the player to explore the backrooms of Ollivander's wand shop. The area behind the shop was visually similar to a giant warehouse that housed countless crates full of wands. Locations There were two known locations of Ollivander's wand shop. There was a branch of Ollivander's in both Diagon Alley and in Hogsmeade. The Hogsmeade branch was located on Hogsmeade's High Street, as the street served as the primary location for the Wizarding Village's shops. The Hogsmeade branch was very similar to its counterpart in Diagon Alley. The Hogsmeade branch was run by an associate of Garrick Ollivander. Hogwarts Legacy will see the protagonist journeying to Ollivander's wand shop to buy their first wand, so it is not impossible for the shop to be explorable as it was in previous games. The player may be forced to solve a series of challenges throughout the store to discover what wand is right for them. It would be a shame not to explore such an iconic location. History 382 BC It was believed by Garrick Ollivander, a descendant of the original Ollivander, that Ollivanders arrived with the Romans, setting up a stall, which, in due course, evolved into a shop, to manufacture and sell wands to the ancient British wizards, whose wands were crudely made and inferior in quality and performance. 1984 Jacob's sibling went to Ollivander's to purchase their wand. 1988-1989 school year During the 1988-1989 school year, Mundungus Fletcher went to Ollivander's to ask about the wand of an opponent whom he had lost a duel to, but Garrick Ollivander couldn't tell much. Shortly afterwards, Jacob's sibling and a friend visited to find out about Fletcher, and Ollivander told them about the previous encounter with him. After Patricia Rakepick broke Jacob's sibling's wand, they went to Ollivander's to purchase a second wand. 1989-1990 School Year At some point near the end of the 1989-1990 school year, Jacob's sibling and Jay Kim came to Ollivander's to meet Mundungus Fletcher and Ollivander, who had some information on a dark witch who had been gathering information of Jacob's sibling and their wand, who turned out to be Verucca Buckthorn Snide. 1990-1991 School Year During the 1990-1991 school year, Jacob's sibling and Ben Copper visited Ollivander's to investigate Ollivander's misfiring wand. After Jacob's sibling, Penny Haywood and Professor Snape successfully brewed a counter serum for Zeep's luscious lock solution, Jacob's sibling offered it to the victims of the solution, including Ollivander, in the shop. 1991 Ollivander Curious, curious. Harry Potter, sorry, but what's curious? Ollivander, I remember every wand I've ever sold, Mr. Potter. Every single wand. It so happens that the phoenix whose tail feather is in your wand gave another feather, just one other. It is very curious indeed that you should be destined for this wand when its brother, why, its brother gave you that scar. Ollivander on Harry Potter's wand. On July 31, 1991, Harry Potter was taken to Ollivander's by Rubius Hagrid in order to get Harry a wand for his first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Harry tried dozens of wands before he was chosen by a wand of holly and phoenix feather. Mr. Ollivander said that he had remembered every wand he had ever sold, and he found it curious that Harry should be destined for a wand that was brother to the one that had killed Harry's parents and had almost killed him. 1992. During the Christmas holidays, Ollivander's was closed with a small notice on the door, which read wandered out for a spell, will return later. 1996 to 1997. Arthur Weasley, talking of Diagon Alley, looks like Ollivander's gone too. Ginny Weasley, the wand maker? Arthur Weasley, that's the one. Shop's empty. No sign of a struggle. No one knows whether he left voluntarily or was kidnapped. Ginny Weasley, but what'll people do for wands? Remus Lupin, they'll make do with other makers. But Ollivander was the best, and if the other side have got him it's not so good for us. 
Arthur Weasley, Ginny Weasley, and Remus Lupin, discussing Ollivander's disappearance in the summer of 1996. In 1996, Alexander Walker attempted to rob the shop. This event made daily profit headlines. When Harry Potter visited Diagon Alley in his sixth year, he found Ollivander's shop boarded up and its owner gone as he was kidnapped by Fenrir Greyback and a group of Death Eaters. He was tortured for an explanation of why Voldemort's wand and Harry Potter's wand couldn't battle. Under the Cruciatus curse, he told Voldemort that it was because of the twin cores, and that all Lord Voldemort needed to do was use another wand. Ollivander was tortured and held in the cellar of Malfoy Manor until Dobby rescued him, Luna Lovegood, and Dean Thomas. After recovering at Shell Cottage, he went to the Weasley children's great-aunt Muriel's place to be protected under the Fidelius charm. Whilst there, he made a wand for Luna as a thank-you gift for the comfort and care she had given him during the incarceration. 2000s Ollivanders reopened after the Second Wizarding War ended and sold wands to new witches and wizards as usual. Before September 2008, a student bought their wand from Ollivanders.